Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, my name is Dr. Hizma Watimak Zain. You can call me Dr. Hizma. So, for the last, um, uh, for the last notes in the Putramo, it's all about the infographic of multimedia application and also the interactive slides of what is multimedia application, the needs of multimedia, and also why multimedia is important in our life. Okay, so as for today, we're going to continue on the, the categories of multimedia application. Where can we use this multimedia application? Okay, so you can see here, we can also, we use the multimedia application for entertainment. As you can see, so it more focus on the action, graphics, okay? Why we need to have this multimedia application in the entertainment? So no, now we have virtual reality, we have augmented reality, we have HoloLens, hologram, and many other applications, not to mention the mobile legend that you're playing, the, what we call it, any other uh, video games, mobile apps games that you use, that is all uh, the example of multimedia application that you use in the entertainment. What else? We also have multimedia application in the education. Okay, of course, we have e-learning, okay, and also we have um, e-books and many others uh, multimedia application that can use in the education platform. Okay, as you can see from here in this pyramid, just based on the lecture, it got nothing, okay, and but based on the reading, the student only have retention rate of 10%. The audio visual, just like this, okay, we have 30%, okay, and followed by the discussion, practice doing, and teach others. So, kids, students, so once you already understand about these lecture notes, please try to lecture with your other friends so that you can have like 90% of understanding. So, there is uh, the other category of um, multimedia application where in the education platform. What else? Okay, we also use uh, multimedia application in business and corporate communication. Okay, we are doing the e-catalog, the database, and now we are talking about the big data, the data science, and also um, the prediction and so on. So all this is all inside the business and corporate communication categories. Okay, so we need to do the advertisement. And also, we do the marketing and all these need the multimedia application. For example, here, of course, you, everyone can fly by AirAsia or maybe from MES, MAS. So, they have the website, they have the mobile application and now we can also have food for delivery as the business. The crab food, the food panda and so on and all it based on the multimedia application. And also, we use it, the multimedia application in the category of information system. As you want to look for something, of course, you will asking the Mr. Google. Yes, or, or Yahoo or many other um, uh, research uh, search platform. Okay, so as for example, in university, we have the university information system. So we have the student information system, faculty information system, library information system and also finance information system and also we can apply the multimedia application in the information kiosk okay so what is information kiosk it's a standalone or network computer system that allow the user to access the information and can give back give the feedback immediately for example if you want to check in individually or independently in the airport you can use the kiosk okay the kiosk like this to check in and of course the most important machine in the world what it is it's an atm machine where you can withdraw the money so this is also a part of the multimedia application that they use the multimedia elements such as text um, and image to interact and also to give feedback to the user okay so and also of course the, the uh, uh, another category in multimedia application is the internet or world wide web okay so it's easier to share the knowledge 
much faster to transmit the data and information. Okay, for example, the product presentation, teleconference, e-commerce, and others. And of course, as current, okay, the multimedia application is used in the gadget. So as you can see here, yes, I'm using the gadget too. Okay, so this gadget is very mobile. Okay, so it's small device that easy to bring anywhere. Okay, it's accessible from anywhere, easy and fast to access information. Okay, we have now smartwatch. Okay, and also we have smartphone, of course, and also there's so many other smart thing that um we going we can develop. Okay, using all these multimedia application and multimedia elements. Okay, so this is all the major multimedia categories where we have the business part, education, information system, the internet, the mobile gadgets, and others. Okay, but but then where to use all this multimedia application? Okay, of course it based it back to um the categories and it apply to the same platform. For example, for the business, of course, it's applied on the business platform. So the multimedia application can be used in the business platform where we can have the presentation, we can have the training, marketing, advertising, database, catalog, instant messaging, and all the network communication. And of course, we apply this multimedia application in schools. Okay, so the most needed destination for multimedia, of course, because it can attract you to study more using all these multimedia elements. No, it's not for the game only. It's for the school also, okay? So it can create to move away the passive learner to the active learner. So come on, kids. You can be a very active and smart student as well. And also creating a learning path easier for children and teacher and reaching the learning process. Okay, so you can see here from the Bill Clinton, technological literacy must become the standard in our country. Preparing children for a lifetime of computer use is just as essential today as teaching them the basic of reading, writing, and arithmetic. So kids, please, please do conquer yourself in all these multimedia application technology of course we also use the multimedia application at home okay as for cooking your microwave your washing machine it's all it's an electronic stuff but it have the element of multimedia as well and of course your ps4 your game device your xbox PlayStation, right? And also many other uh, uh, devices that use the multimedia application. Your TV as well. Okay. And the last thing is, of course, this multimedia application can be applied in public places. For example, we have hotel, shopping complex, and airport, which is they have the kiosk, the e directory, and e map. And of course, in the transportation, we have the schedule and tickets, ticketing system, and museum the detailed information about the artifacts. So, this is all um, for today. So, we have learned about um, what is the categories of multimedia application and where to use all this multimedia application. I'll see you again. Bye bye.